standard for sterling devotion to our flag, these national salutes your service, this nation salutes your service and celebrates your contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, because of the contribution of Kenyans elsewhere, our country continues to make great strides towards socioeconomic transformation, shared prosperity, and enhanced well-being for our nation. In the East and on of Africa, the larger Africa continent, and globally, this nation expresses our values with greater clarity, and the state project and the state projects our aspirations more emphatically. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to lay the foundation for our future. Agriculture, as the lead sector to the economic transformation of our country, is the place to start owing to its potential for high and quick returns on investment. But the situation in the country is wanting, and we have a severe food shortage as a result of prolonged drought in Kenya and the larger Horn of Africa region, the worst in nearly half a century, with three years of consecutive failed rain. Coupled with this are the extremely high global fertilizer prices. Our government's initial intervention to mitigate these challenges has been to step up food supply in northern Kenya and other regions and ensure better coordination between government and development partners. And I want to thank my deputy for being an able connector between these partners. We thank our partners for their input that has gone a long way in relieving this dire situation. World fertilizer prices have been, have more than doubled in the past two years since COVID-19. The prices were passed on to farmers and the cost skyrocketed to more than 7,000 for a 50 kilogram bag. This had a huge impact on productivity of farmers last year. For example, Maize production suffered a deficit of 10 million bags. Our government's first intervention to address the fertilizer challenge and make it available to counties and regions that plant in the short rains was to import 1.5 million 50 kilogram bags and distribute them at a lower price of Kenya shillings 3,500 per 50 kilogram bag. We have also made arrangements to make another 6 million bags of various types of fertilizer available for the long rain season. We have also asked county governments to work with us on the last mile delivery to centers close to farmers so that fertilizer can be easily accessible. These, however, are short-term measures and we have to take very bold steps to end the perpetual cycle of hunger and dependency on rain-fed agriculture. We must eradicate hunger in our country in the shortest time possible. To do this, we have, a, we have the following plan. We have to increase agricultural productivity as a first step. We will support all farmers to access quality inputs such as seeds, fertilizer, and pesticides among others, and also ensure that our farmers have access to extension services in order to improve farming skills. In the short term, we will continue with the fertilizer import program. But in the medium term, the government plans to have fertilizer manufactured in partnership with EAC countries in our region. On seeds, our government will work with local research institutions and both public and private sectors to scale up seed multiplication for all crops. However, irrig 